Hello everyone, it's Vancatory here today. Today I'm going to be going over the drums, barrels, and storage mod by Funway Guy. Now this is a very simple mod, and I'm going to be comparing it to some other mods really quickly. So first off, you may notice I have thermal foundations, caches, I may have storage, storage here. So yeah, we're going to be testing those off and show you what some of these things are. Now, first thing you want to know is that most of these recipes for the mods, they're in JEI as usual, you could just find them out. Uh, so yeah, you can upgrade most of the tools by surrounded by iron ingots or whatever. As you can see, the upgrade version of this is also sub upgraded by iron ingots. So, what you're going to want to know is that these things can hold 64 stacks of 64. So yeah, that's the default capacity. You can upgrade the capacity by crafting 4K, 4096. So maybe one upgrade that, which is like we upgrade that, upgrade that. So basically, you're going to need a stack of iron, a stack of iron frames, and a stack of oak chests to make four of these. I've already checked. So once you have four of these, you can then hold them in your hand as such. And yeah, it will tell you that you can put more stacks here. So if I just bap it once, it will now increase its capacity by an absurd amount. You're probably wondering, oh, it's just going to increase by 64. No, it is not. It is going to increase by 4,096. Which means this might take a while. But yeah, that's what it means is that it increases the stack size. So it can hold even more absurd amounts. Now you're probably wondering, why would I need this? What possible use can I have? Well, it's in case you want to store lots of amounts of things. Because even storage stores have a limit, I believe. And they have the limit of... I believe storage stores have a limit of... These things. However many of these things you can shove onto one. Blah, 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 blah. There we go. So yeah, that's uh, 32 times 32 times 32 times 32 times 32 times 32 times... Basically a lot. And this also has a lot. And this one does not have a lot. This is a cache. Or cache, or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Alright, oh, I forgot. You don't destroy it easily. You can enchant it with holding. So it increases the capacity even more. So it can hold uh three thousand oh I didn't potato. Potato 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 potato. Cause I am a potato, you're a potato, and we're all going insane. Going insane. Going insane. Uh where is it? Is it in cough stuff really quickly? It's probably in tools. There it is. Cool. So as you can see, that increases it to 6,000 from 20,000. And this is the lowest tier though, so if I just plop that down and get a resonance conversion kit, you'll see the true max capacity, which will be... 1,500,000, which isn't really a lot compared to literally this. Which I think it actually stopped now. Did it actually stop? Or is it just filling up this thing? I don't think it stopped. No. I think it's trying to fill up this thing. So if I just bap this wire away, it'll go back to... Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. So yeah, it's trying to fill up this storage drawer. Which is going to take a bit. So all these things basically can hold an absurd amount. The main difference is that this one can hold a certain amount in 4, in 2, in whatever. The storage stores have a lot of variety. We have the 2x2 two two here, which looks potato. Die. Okay. Uh. Yeah, as you can see, there's the 2x2, two two, there's the 1x2. Two. The 1x2 two is probably the coolest looking one, but yeah. They don't die so easy. Now, I probably wonder, where's the point of all this? You can use these and use these type of crates to shovel off stuff into them. I don't know why I didn't want to set caches at the moment, but whatever, I don't care. Uh, yeah, that's going to take a bit. So, what we're going to do is we're going to borrow some of that. And tap you on the head. Oh, why did I do that? Uh, did my game crash? Congratulations. Okay. Jeez, I thought my game crashed hard, but it it did. It lagged. That's because I'm dumb. 
I should have done that. Anyhow, <laughs> my entire inventory is just okay. So as you can see, you can actually store Azublowitz here. If they would stop going everywhere else. As you can see, you can store them in the shipping container. It's going to fill up every single one of these with Azublowitz though. So yeah. Um, also, when you upgrade them, as you can see right here, this one's upgraded. So if I get a pickaxe really quickly. A pickaxe. It'll keep its upgrade regardless. So as you can see, it'll still hold the amount. It's not going to lose it, as you can see. So yeah. I I have no idea why I thought that was gonna be a good idea. It's because I'm stupid, isn't it? Blah, blah, blah. So yeah, as you can see, it's it is hold on a certain amount. So yeah, as you can see, we're already filling up this. Which I'm going to quickly fix by shoving that in, and it will yeet everything in there. Which is cool. Honestly, it's cool. Put that down there. Right. So you're probably wondering, what can we use these containers for? You can use them for liquids, like, uh, you can get creative tank right here, or this reservoir, actually, I'll just use that as a better example. Let's see, what do people like in their, uh, reservoirs? Uh, they usually like lava, don't they? So we'll just get some lava, we'll just put this down or anything, actually, because I am not smart. There you go. So you could just take your reservoir, uh, I believe it's this one. Why don't you go? You should go in. Uh, I forgot that the reservoir doesn't work on anything that isn't directly a tank. I am smart. That being said, you could just fill it up in a normal tank like this. Yeah, there you go. So all I have to do is make it creative. Give myself a crescent hammer. You get the deal at this point. I, I don't really need to explain it too much to Zab about how useful this is. Because as you can see it's filling up with blah 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 blah. And these are just bass drums. But you can see that they're holding 64 buckets of the stuff. This is actually 64 buckets. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. It's probably a little bit more than that. No, it is 64 buckets. Okay. Oh, but when you do have a drum like this, you can use a storage upgrade. Sorry if I sound really exhausted. It's really late. I, I don't know why I'm doing this, honestly. So yeah, blah, 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 blah. And then you can just bap it with one of these guys and boom, you fill it up. It's one billion! Let's do it again. Bam! Still one billion! Yeah, it's quite a lot, honestly. So yeah, you could use this to store lava, you could use this to also store energy. So if I get myself a dynamo right here, I, I'm, I'm just basically showing this off really quickly. Get myself some uh, coal, getting some water. As you can see, it'll start powering up, which will start powering this little guy. So yeah, this can function as a battery, as a mass storage device, as mass liquid, whatever. You don't even need to be specific. You could literally just grab one of these tanks right here, go over here, say hi, my name's Bob, and replace you, and boom, you're done. You don't you now you can also get this thing and shove it in here, and it'll still work. So yeah, it's fantastic. I'm just showing this for demonstration purposes, just so you know that this works. All oh, right, this thing exists. Goodbye. Bleh. So yeah, one of the interesting things about dr drums and barrels I need to point out is that the drums and barrels can hold not only liquids but items as well. So I could just store that there. Store my wrench here if I really wanted to. My pickaxes in case I want a pickaxe collection. So yeah, 
Uh, that's basically it. If you guys have any questions, first I like this not enough. All oh, right, there's one more thing I need to show off before anything else. Uh, there are two things I forgot to mention. There's a key which basically locks the barrel crate thing to whatever you put on it. That is basically a standard key. I don't really need to go too much into detail about that. It's basically the standard lock method. And the one thing that differentiates this mod from any other mod is the color. So for example, I can right click here. I can make this uh, emerald blue with neon lime highlights. As you can see, bam, it works. Or I can do this. Uh, how do I do this? Why do you not work? It only works on metal, right? I completely forgot about that. So I could do this neon blue. I, there's three sides. I could paint this uh, saffron red, which is the bars. And the last side, I can make this the label. I can make it uh, electric yellow. So that you could tell this is like a high energy thing. So yeah, I really like this one. It's really cool. I really like how this uh, these shipping crates work. Now, I was actually disappointed when I saw this originally because I thought these should be things that you send, like, items through vast distances. Which I would really like, fun way guy, but I know that you don't want to do that because, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I feel like that's all the discovered of this mod, and it's still making power. But yeah, as you can see, these things have a lot of uses. They're pretty cool, and yeah. That's going to be it for today. Sorry it took so long. Sorry I rambled so much. And sorry that the thing almost crashed because I decided to... Punch you open a store store full of nothing but flowers. That was not my brand's idea. Anyway, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye, everyone.